Hello, everybody, and I hope this presentation finds you well. Miss Doran here, and I've been asked to talk to you about fifth year history and what it might look like, you know. Um, why should we study the subject and what's the course outline? That's basically what I'm going to be talking to you about. I normally begin this presentation, we're normally all together in the library or in room 26, and I begin by putting up this slide and asking people to identify um, the figures in the photos. We'll come across them through our study of history. So I'd like you just to take a minute and see who can you recognise. Test yourself before we move on to the next slides. This one normally causes a problem here. Most people normally get this gentleman here and this gentleman here, and then sometimes we get answers. So I see, can you get them all? That would be great. Okay. So why study history for leaving cert? Well, we understand the past. We study the past to understand the present. We understand the present to guide the future. And I think that's one of the maxims that we have to take when we're looking at history as students. We're students of our world and it's the skills to understand our world, interpret the world, and really more importantly, to change our world. Um, that's why we're looking at, at this information. So the knowledge and skills that we're getting, it helps us to understand multiple perspectives and interpretations. You apply information from the past, analyze and solve problems in the present, and it trains us to gather evidence and to find patterns and trends. And all of those skills and all of that knowledge are vital when we move into our future lives. Um, in college and in jobs, whatever we choose to do, these are all, this is all knowledge and skills that we will take with us. So on Claudia Ciaran, we study the modern course, okay? So history in the 19th and 20th centuries in Ireland and the wider world. You have to study four topics in all. It doesn't sound like a lot, but actually it is um, because each topic is a 40 or 50 year time span. And in the modern world, so much happens in those times. We must study two Irish, topics and then two European or two wider world topics and I'll go through what they might look like okay every year we have a compulsory topic it's set by the Department of Education and um, if this will be what we call your documents question all right if your compulsory topic is an Irish one then you have to study one other Irish topic to bring you up to two and then you go and you study two European or wider world topics you must then complete a research project of 1,500 words for higher level and 800 words for ordinary level. And it's submitted in April before the leaving cert and it's worth 20% of your marks. It's great to have that 20% in the bag before you go in. It sounds like a huge project. It's actually not. I've been teaching leaving cert history for years and what I hear is students are so interested in the topic that they choose that they're writing more, not less, and we end up having to cut it down. And that's the beauty of this. You know, you pick something that you really want to study for your research topic. What part of history? It can be any part up to 1990, anything. And, you know, nearly number one problem, let's choose a topic because you've so much to choose from. And when we do, we get so into it, it's to break, pair it back down to the right number of words, okay? Now, just interestingly, this will come up later, but for Leaving Cert 2023, which is what you'll be, um, the documents question is politics and society in Northern Ireland. Um, again, very, very relevant for our world today. So what might the course look like? Well, let's have a look here. Okay, so this is one of the leaving, this is one of the websites that we use. So here would be examples of two um, Irish topics and two European topics that you might study. So let's, this is a very popular one that we do. These two European topics would be what we would look at quite a lot. And here you can see your documents. If you, if your document study will be Sarans show trials, the Nuremberg rallies and the Jarrow crusade. Um, you obviously would have heard of Stalin, but maybe not so much Hitler's Nuremberg rallies. And then definitely the Jarrow crusade is normally new to students. And when we say a document study, what we're talking about is that we study original documents from the time. We'll have done a little bit of that at junior cert, but this is a whole new level. We look at original sources from the time, pictures, diaries, newspapers, film reels. You're analyzing those, critically looking at what they can tell us. Where's the bias? What can we learn from them? And we put different sources together to get the whole picture. And that's really the difference when we're coming from junior cert to leave leaving cert, this idea of putting it together in a much broader sense. So I think that gives you a sort of a sense, you can see, like, if that's one topic, how long, like, that would take us a good term or more to get through all of that, okay? 
World War II would be there for those of you who might be in it. So that might give you an idea. Now, if we go and um, maybe we'll have a look at the United States because students really enjoy studying this one. And obviously, how, how, how much have we heard about the United States recently and their presidential elections and the impact that the USA has on the rest of the world? So you can see there US politics and the presidency, foreign policy, which includes Vietnam. A lot of students like to study that. Um, we look at the Cold War. We look at the bus boycott and race relations and, of course, the moon landing. Um, all very important moments really in our history and, and have influenced how we have developed as, as a society. So that's just sort of a, a quick look at what we might be looking at. Now, so your compulsory topic for fifth year in 2021 is politics and society in Northern Ireland 1949 to 1993. Again, think about how impactful Northern Ireland has been on Irish history, even at the moment, how important it is when you're looking at the peace process, you're looking at the troubles, you're looking at, you know, the Belfast bombing, the Blitz during World War II, you're looking at um, all of those different perspectives and it's linked so closely to our history and to, to the nation state that we have become. So in your final exam, then, having done your 20%, you have um, a compulsory documents question. So you look at all, you'll be giving a selection of documents uh, that you won't have seen before, but you'll be asked to use the skills that you've learned in class to examine and interrogate the documents. It's a, it's a question students can score really highly in and they're quite comfortable in. And then you have to write three other essays. Um, at higher level and they they are you will need to know those and have planned those but a big part writing essays and writing essays collaboratively is something we work together in so you're well ready for that or on your level you have your compulsory documents question and three other topics but they're made up of shorter questions paragraphs and short essays so it's not that sort of very overarching um analysis you're asked to do at higher level or at a level that's broken down step by step. So please, if you love history and it's something you want to do, don't be put off for, for whatever level you're going to study. Take it because you love it. And I suppose that's my next slide. Who should study history? Well, anyone who likes it, anyone who loves it for a higher level, a good standard of English is recommended for the essay format because you do have to do quite a bit of writing. So history on your future, you know, why is history important? Who cares? Well, for many college courses, the skills you learn studying history are vital. Like and I've been talking about the research, the analysis, interrogating sources, critical thinking. They're especially helpful for media, politics, journalism, law, European studies. And that's just to name a few. There's lots of other ones there. Um, and some of our past and current students have had the following to say. So somebody from college is saying, um, studying history really helped me with my research skills for projects and essays. It's really our class has been really interesting interactive with loads of discussion. Learning about differences and wars and reasons for conflict helps me understand what's going on today. Now, obviously, I have to do this in lockdown and quickly talk to people who might talk to me. So there are just a few. Now, um, you don't have to do this, but this sort of sums up everything I've been saying this little video. Um, it's completely optional of whether you want to do it yourself. OK, uh, but I do. It, it's good because it sums up what we've been doing and it gives us some nice sort of key moments and key points from history. And then if you have any other questions based on this presentation or if there's anything else you'd like to say, please email me at eldoran at and I'd love to hear from you and chat through any queries that you might have. So thanks very much indeed. And we will talk to you soon. Take care and mind yourselves.